Hi there and welcome back to Mr. D Recommendation. Today, we are going to reveal the best budget drones of 2023 that you can get your hands on right now. We have done a lot of research and collected information from different sources to help you find the best drones that are affordable and reliable. You can find the links to each product in the description below for more details and the best deals. Before we begin, we want to let you know that as an Amazon associate we earn from qualifying purchases. This means that if you purchase any of the products through our links, we may get a small commission at no extra cost to you. So, let's jump right into our list of the best budget drones of 2023. Rise Tech Tello. The Rise Tech Tello is a mini drone that is easy to fly. You just need the Tello app on your smartphone and Wi-Fi to connect to the drone. You can use your phone or a Bluetooth controller as a remote control. The Rise Tech Tello has a 5 megapixels camera that can take photos and videos in 720p. The camera also has electronic image stabilization. The drone can do tricks and stunts with a tap on the screen. You can also edit and share your media with the Tello app. The Rise Tech Tello supports Scratch programming, which lets you learn about coding while flying the drone. Scratch is a visual programming language that lets you create your own commands and sequences for the drone. You can also use Python and Swift to code the drone. The Rise Tech Tello has a battery life of 13 minutes, a range of 100 meters, and a speed of 8 meters per second. The drone is stable and durable, thanks to its vision system, rangefinder, barometer, and propeller guards. The Rise Tech Tello is not perfect though. It does not have GPS, which means it can drift in windy conditions. It also has some connection issues, especially when there are many Wi-Fi networks around. The camera quality is decent, but not great, especially in low-light situations. Overall, the Rise Tech Tello is a great drone for beginners and hobbyists who want to have fun and learn more about drones and coding. It is easy to set up and fly, stable and durable. Holy Stone HS-175D the Holy Stone HS-175D is a GPS drone with a 4K camera and a brushless motor. This drone is an ultralight drone that weighs less than 250 grams and does not require FAA registration. It comes with a carrying case, two batteries, two chargers, and a remote controller. The HS-175D has a 120 degrees wide angle and 90 degrees adjustable camera that provides a high-resolution picture. It also has various features such as GPS auto return, follow me mode, circle flight, and optical flow positioning. It is suitable for beginners and professionals alike. The HS-175D has a stable flight, a reliable 20 minutes flight time per battery, and a good range of up to 500 meters. The camera quality was decent, but not true 4K as advertised. The app was easy to use, but sometimes buggy. The GPS was accurate but required calibration before each flight. Overall, we think the HS-175D is a great drone for its price range. It has a lot of features, a good build quality, and a long flight time. It is also very portable and convenient to carry around. If you are looking for a drone that is easy to fly, fun to use, and affordable, you might want to check out the Holy Stone HS-175D. Beta FPV Cetus Pro The Cetus Pro has a light 1-2S Pro brushless flight controller, a 12 AESC, a 25 mW VTX, an AC02 FPV micro camera. It has 1102 to 18000 kV brushless motors and 40 mm 3 blade props, which make it powerful and agile. It also has a positioning system that uses optical flow, barometer, and laser to achieve stable hovering and locating. It also has a self-protection function in turtle mode. The Cetus Pro has three flight modes, N, S, and M, and three speed modes, slow, mid, and fast. The N mode has an altitude hold function, while the S and M modes are for FPV freestyle and racing. The Cetus Pro weighs 33.19 grams without battery and has a flight time of 4 to 5 minutes with a BT 2.0450 mAh ones battery. The quadcopter has a durable frame that can withstand crashes. The Cetus Pro FPV kit includes the Cetus Pro quadcopter, a light radio 2SE transmitter, VR02 FPV goggles, and an EVA portable storage bag. It is the best choice for beginners to advance currently. The Cetus Pro has some drawbacks though. It's not very fast or responsive compared to other quads. It has a short flight time and battery life, and also has some issues with the optical flow sensor and the altitude hold function in some situations. Overall, we think that the Cetus Pro is a great FPV quadcopter for beginners and training. It has a good balance of performance, features, durability, and price. DJI Mini SE. 
The DJI Mini SE has a 3-axis gimbal camera that can record 2.7K video and 12 megapixels photos, which is pretty good for a drone this size. The footage is smooth and clear, and the photos are crisp and colorful. You can also tweak the shutter speed and ISO settings manually, which gives you some creative freedom. The DJI Mini SE also has some cool features that make flying more fun and easy. For example, you can use quick shots to make epic videos with a tap. These are preset flight modes that let the drone fly in different ways while tracking you or an object. You can also use enhanced Wi-Fi to get a solid video feed up to 4 kilometers away, which is amazing for exploring new spots. The DJI Mini SE is not flawless though. It has some drawbacks that you should know before buying it. For example, it can only record in 2.7K resolution, which is not as good as many phones these days. It also doesn't have collision sensors and follow functions, which means you have to watch out for obstacles or people when flying. It can't shoot in RAW format, which limits your editing possibilities. And it may have trouble in strong winds and have a short range, depending on the interference and weather conditions. Overall, we think the DJI Mini SE is a great drone for beginners or anyone who wants a simple and affordable drone that can capture decent footage and photos. Holy Stone HS720E The HS720E has a high-quality plastic design that is heavier and more wind-resistant than some other drones. It comes with a case and an extra battery, which is nice. The camera has a Sony sensor and motorized parts that help with image stabilization. The video quality is surprisingly good, but the stills are not very impressive. The camera does not have a gimbal, so it may not be as smooth as some other drones. The drone has a good flight time of 23 minutes and a range of 1 km. It has GPS and optical flow sensor that help with positioning and stability. It has some intelligent flight modes like follow me, orbit, and waypoint. It does not have obstacle avoidance, though, so be careful when flying near obstacles. The drone is easy to use, but it may require some practice. It needs frequent calibration before each flight, and the battery takes a long time to charge. The controller uses AW batteries instead of rechargeable ones. Overall, the HS720E is a great drone for beginners or hobbyists who want 4K video without spending too much. It has some drawbacks, but it also offers a lot of value and fun. That's all for our list of the best budget drones of 2023. We hope you liked this video and found it useful. If you did, please leave a like and share it with your friends. Also, make sure to subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to get notified of our upcoming videos. We have a lot more reviews of tech products and gadgets coming your way, so don't miss out. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.